So this question is set up like a simplified question. Simplified questions are typically short, between one and three lines long, and provide either an equation or an expression. As soon as I see these questions, I immediately think, hey, I need to simplify it. And I, I jump straight to simplifying the equation or expression that's provided. You may decide that you want to read it first, which is perfectly fine. Um, this is just how I do it. I think the main point, though, is that as soon as you see the combination of a short question plus an expression or equation, that your mind thinks, hey, this is a question type that shows up on this test and uh, simplification will be required here. So I'm going to do what I would typically do, which is just simplify this all the way out and then solve from there. So two thirds of nine X is going to be equal to six X. Two thirds of six or negative six is going to be equal to four, right? So six X minus four and then minus four and still equals nine X minus six. I'm going to combine like terms. So this becomes six X minus eight equals nine X minus six. I'm going to subtract 9x from both sides, have leaving me with negative 3x. I'm going to also add 8 to both sides here, leaving me with positive 2, and then divide by negative 3. And I have x equals negative 2 thirds. Okay, so now the question does not ask me for the x value, and you can see how there is a trap answer here, right? Because negative 2 thirds is equal to x. But the question, if we read it, says based on the equation above, what is the value of 3x minus 2, right? So we have to be very careful. C is automatically gone, right? So I want 3x minus 2, which means I'm going to take my x value and just plug it in to the 3x minus 2. So I have 3 parentheses, negative 2 thirds minus 2. 3 times negative 2 thirds, well, the 3s would cross cancel leaving me with negative two minus two, and therefore the answer is negative four, and answer choice A. So there is another way to do this because there is a relationship here between three X minus two and nine X minus six. So I could probably exploit that relationship a little bit more and get directly to a three X minus two equals something in terms of, um, in terms of my simplification, but you know, I decided that this is, you know, using this method of just solving or simplifying as much as you can will always work. And just making sure that you also pay close attention to what's actually being asked for is really the key to these types of questions.